everybody, it's Brian with Dolo to get together. Uh, doing a quick, fun deck tech I just put together, been playing around with a little bit. It's been running pretty well so far. Uh, I've only tested it out in a few games. I built a white artifact deck. It's probably a little easier to see this way. We got four ginger brute because, you know, haste and uh, you can give them unblockable for one except for creatures with haste. The worst case scenario, they, you can just sack them for life. Uh, Manifold Key has actually been a huge card uh, in this deck so far. I might look into putting another one in there. Uh, it's helpful for certain cards like Steel Overseer. In the previous game, I had someone try to, I think it's like Kazumazi's transformation. It becomes a 1-1 with no abilities. I was able to activate him twice uh, via untapping him, so I could at least keep, a th keep him as a 3-3. And it gives creatures unblockable, which is huge if you have all that glitters on something. Uh, we have a Stone Coil Serpent. To reach Trample... Protection from multicolor, and he was literally just an X for casting cost, which is cool. I usually get him out as at least a 5 or a 6. Uh, pacifism. Crashing Drawbridge is good for a defender and uh, giving other creatures haste, especially if you start bringing down Shambling Suits, and especially if you have like 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, Enchantments or artifacts. And almost everything in this deck except for Arcanist Owl. Oh, nope, it's an artifact creature. So everything in the deck is an artifact or an enchantment. Minus the land. Uh, we are running Conclave Tribunal, which is nice because it has Convoke also. Uh, and it's just target non land permanent. So that's good help for removal for Planeswalkers too. In Prophet of the Peak. It's got Scry. It is a little clunky. It's a 6 drop for a 5-5. Five, five. That just has Scry too. But. Uh, no. I haven't actually gotten him yet in a game. So he could come out. Potentially for more Steel Overseers. Or Stone Quail Serpents. Um, I don't have a ton of rare slots to unlock rare cards to unlock so I'm not trying to get ahead of myself and unlocking a whole bunch of seal overseers or stone coil serpents depending on how it goes maybe we'll add one or two of those guys later I don't think having those big uh, peaks that that could be a bad addition They'll be fine. They give you Scry too, which is pretty valuable, especially later in the game if you're trying to come off of a parody. Uh, if you just need one of those Arcanus Owls or something to buff your creatures like a Overseer. Yeah, that's a good hand. The white removal being artifacts and enchantments are awesome for this deck. Oh, are we facing another mill deck? There's one deck type that could get me. Some of my decks have been having trouble going up against Mill lately. And unfortunately, he's got a creature out that stops our Ginger Boot. At least until I can start giving him haste. Or until I can start making him unblockable. I 
don't think we waste our pacifism yet. Because I'm not worried about them swinging in for one damage in the air for another two turns until I get my owl out. be able to start cracking back with that's what you're gonna counter okay haste I'll cancel that it's already done you do that now? That's a weird play. Why not just hold up your mana and use it end of turn? He must not have anything? Maybe he's new. Damn it, play the damn owl. Oh, that's right, I can't because of that. So instead... There. Yeah. Everyone in haste. Tap. Now we just swing in. Okay. Use it for now. Because we steal Overseer. If they can can't if they get rid of everything else I try to play, I can keep these three creatures on the board. We'll be able to have just a soft lock on the game. And just be able to swing in for ridiculous amounts of damage. play anything else until he taps out. Yeah, see, now he's gotten smart. Now he's waiting. I don't need to play anything until you do. That's fine. for my owl. I'm anticipating a counter. If hopefully he's only holding one.
And then if we get him out for cheap, avoid him having... Yeah, that's playing smart. Get the extra attacker out. Who's just going to get buffed from the Overseer anyway? I didn't even think about that. So now we just keep letting him do this and slow mill us. This is not the most efficient mill deck I've ever seen. Though he's getting a lot of my good cards. I've already got enough on the board. Do you have another counter spell? Might as well get rid of him. Hopefully, he just has the ability. Nope. He probably is just loaded with counter spells and. Counters and mills, encounters that mill you. A lot of people have been liking, really trying to get mill decks going. And after I unsuccessfully made one, I, the next deck I made, I immediately faced a mill deck that was almost the exact same as mine. And it wrecked me. It was painful. This again. Oh, buddy, you might not make it that far. Okay. So that's all that glitters you. Let me go ahead and just toss you for. Card, whatever. I mean, we'll have to block the nine nine and go to one. I was hoping I could get a cheap artifact down. That wouldn't have made a difference. Oh, he's just gonna let the damage go through. So far, this deck is working pretty well. I haven't taken it into ranked yet. I'm still working some kinks out. <laughs> the first game I played, it was a 68 card deck. Originally, I was going to try to do white blue artifacts, and then I was pretty much just using blue for a couple different counter spells in Witching Well, which is a nice artifact and it's a good card draw, but that's why I put the Cryptic Caves in. Uh, they're usable for mana in the meantime. The only thing they stifle my playing is the Arcanist Owl. Other than that, mostly everything is white mana and Everything else plays pretty quickly. Pretty nice curve, go right into the bridge. Drop a shambling suit. Why wouldn't you attack the ginger boot? Yeah, oops. Oops is right. Really? <laughs> what? Do you only have one in your whole deck? Um... <laughs> what? So that kind of sucks because... One of my goals, my daily is to play like 20 and 30 white spells and I only have 8 
12 white spells in this deck. So that time it was definitely, the first game we played, it was definitely more helpful to have the cheaper creatures. And then... That's a really good hand. It was nice to have the cheaper creatures so we could get a counter out of his hand to the point where he didn't have enough mana to cast another counter spell. I don't know if in the meta we're playing that many of those decks where it's just removal, 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 removal. Counter, counter, counter. Let's see if I want the trade. Yep. That's fine. I've seen probably two or three decks recently that were running that kind of mill and a ton of counter spells. I think the way it currently is, it's fine to work against that type of stuff. Andre, we need more control. So you're gonna Say die hi to my fiery friends. Oh yeah, I have a... I need to die too. I totally played that wrong. Now things are getting I didn't easy. have a crashing drawbridge to give him haste, which I thought I did. That's fine. Maybe I'll draw a land and just give them both all that glitters. And then they'll both get plus five plus five. Say hi to my fiery friends. Blah blah blah, shut up. What do we draw? What do we draw? Give me a land. Can I hit him with enough big stuff before he hits me with enough little stuff to calamity me to death? That is a real question. So that'll give me plus four, plus four. Ugh, you have creatures with haste. You just let me take down your girl there. There you go. One more blocker, but you lose your haste. Can I not pay it for zero? Okay, now I also just have a 7-7. Seven, seven. 
so. Hmm. If I put another glitters on Brute and give him unblockable and you don't get a haste creature down next turn. It'd be 7, 8, 14, 15, no, because it's 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It'd be 6 and 6, 12, 14, 15. I'd be swinging in for uncontested. Fight fire with fire. That might be. Yeah, you just killed yourself. Possibly. You have no mana. I have lethal on board. I guess I can't blame him for going for it. Because I did put six or seven additional power on the board with that other all that glitters. It's, for such a cheap enchantment, it puts so much power on the board, depending on your deck. Do one more. Is there anything you want to look at changing? Probably another one of these each. I still really haven't had the opportunity to play with Profit. Maybe drop a brute. I also like the manifold key, but Gingerbrook is himself almost unblockable. I'm gonna keep playing around with it for a little bit. And I know it's gonna curse me, but I'll say it anyway. So far, this deck has not been defeated. That aggro deck could have been pretty close. That mill deck had it actually been a little more efficient. May have been able to hold off long enough. There's a trouble with the mill decks. It's seems to be difficult to get <laughs> why we didn't even do anything okay so that's what four wins <laughs> two immediate quits We'll call it 5 and 0, and people will watch the video and go, oh, technically you didn't lie. <laughs> but two people quit on either bad draws. I still don't get what happened with the person who shocked us in the face and then said fuck it and gave up. That was pretty funny. not bad. I like that we got a manifold key and an overseer. So twice per end step we can pump our overseer. I 
Actually, if anyone wants to drop us some comments, I'm looking at doing a Niv Mizzet Mad Ratter deck. And considering putting in the Improbable Alliance. And just doing like a Super Niv Mizzet token kind of deck. If anyone has any other good advice for a deck like that. Um, it would drop the amount of spells that I have. So I am currently running a Mythic deck, largely based on additional turns being taken. Or excuse me, not turns, just drawing a bunch of extra cards. Um, with the Dreadhorde Arcanists, and I can give them... I have a red enchantment that gives me plus two, plus two, and they can't block. But it allows you to play additional higher CMC cards out of your... Uh, graveyard. Whatever. Um, you will just stop the hate coming in for a bit. Yeah, so far the idea behind my current Niv Mizzet deck is get a bunch of spells in the graveyard with the Dreadhorde Arcanist and get Niv Mizzet out as soon as you can. It's tough with a 3 and 3. 3 red, 3 blue. Um, and then attack with the Arcanist and Niv Mizzet. Replay a bunch of cards in your graveyard, get additional triggers off of them as they draw extra cards. If you don't draw creatures, you can get screwed in that deck pretty quickly. Generally, it works pretty well. Now, do I... First off, let's hope we draw a mana. No. He's gonna start getting big. Hmm. We need to start. Tap. So I can try to sneakily kill this Tajik Legion's end. He's going to attack with it again. Oh no, I can't. Take. So give me haste. Yes. Do that thing. Untap. thing.
So he'll be pro you, which is fine. someone now. Mm -hmm. Just toss that out because why not? There's literally nothing else we can do. Um now if he swings with the team, he's got 12 coming in. Off a mentor, the goblin banneret gets bigger. I can kill Tajik with Stone Coil Serpent. I'm gonna keep my serpent because he's pro multicolor. And I can kill. Sun home, solar, and another goblin banneret. He'll come in for three if he decides to attack at all, which would not benefit him. Let's see if you're gonna swing, swing with everybody because you're not gonna get any more in. blocks, you die, you die, uh -huh. you die, Let's get the damage in. If he pulls a shock, I'm screwed. Or any direct damage spell, I'm screwed. If I do all that glitters, it's one, two, three, four, five, six with him. Yeah, why not? We'll see if we can brutishly punch him in the face enough times to kill him and hope he doesn't draw a direct damage spell. If I lose, I know it's because I said this deck is undefeated so far. I even called it and said that was stupid to say. Did it anyway. And now we're facing a red-white deck at two life. This is turn. Hmm. Got it. Amazing. How are you going to quit? You have two life left on me. You have to have a burn spell. You're red white. If you're not running a burn spell with an aggro deck, you're doing it wrong. But, all 
right, that's um, that's our ward effect deck, our white artifact deck. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It's very consistent so far. I mean, essentially, it is a tribal deck, and tribal decks, if you build them properly, run pretty well. And it's doing just that. It's all artifacts or enchantments, even the creatures, even the white creature, which I actually didn't think about until I was just going over the cards that were in it. Um, but everything so far is working pretty well. Steel Overseer. I'll probably end up trying to find a way to work in another one of them at least. He's just definitely been overperforming in this deck so far. Uh, but we thank you for watching the video and joining us. Uh, we're Dola to get together. This is Brian. We're still a small channel. If you wouldn't mind, it helps a lot if you could leave a comment, like, or subscribe. Uh, and we'll be looking to put more videos out. So we appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day.